Hello, hello everyone. Welcome and thank you for joining me today. My name is Monica Formosa and I'm a stepping up demonstrator here in the Y Bay region of Queensland, Australia. Today I want to show you a cool technique that I have recently discovered um, which uses your embossing folders to create this cool and absolutely amazing backgrounds. Now that is gold embossing powder on white cardstock and this one is copper on black cardstock. Now I've used the um, I've used metallic embossing powders. You could possibly use just your your black or your white depending on what the uh, look you're after. I'm sure you'll get just as good as as a result. You just won't get that shine and glimmer that you do with metallics. Um, before we start though, I just want to explain something that we're not actually going to be making the cards. What I wanted to do today is just to run you through how I um, created these backgrounds using the, the, the products that, that we've got. So, um, and before we, before we start, I just wanted to show you the difference depending on what side of the embossing folder you use. Okay, so let me turn this around. This is the, um, what we call the top and the bottom. So this, with this is the result you get for using the top and this is the result you get for using the bottom or the negative. Okay, same with the black. This is using, putting your Versa mark on the top and then putting your Versa mark on the back and we're creating a negative result. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'll just run through with these cards, I'll just run through the, um, the, the products that I've used for these. Now for the white card, we've started with a basic white, um, a basic white card base. And then I've trimmed a piece of basic white cardstock and then um, um, used the gold embossing powder and the Hive 3D embossing folder to create the background. The DSP that I've used is um, Abstract Beauty 4 by 6 DSP. Uh, and the tag, um, and I've cut that using, die cut that using tailor made tag dies. Uh, this paper absolutely um, is gorgeous. I love this paper and it coordinates quite well with the, with the background that I created. Uh, my my um, sentiment here has also been um, gold embossed, gold heat embossed. And I've stamped that using Splendid Thought stamp set and the die, this little foliage, detailed foliage die here, die cut here, that was, um, that was used create, um, with created, you, I'll get my words out right here in a moment, that was created using um, the, um, the, the coordinating, the coordinating dies, splendid stems dies, and those, those products, that, that bundle will be available in the July to December mini catalogue that's about to come out. Um, black cardstock for this lovely detailed die cut here. And the trim, um, the gold, the gold elegant, uh, what is it? What is that? Um, simply elegant trim. I think that's what it is. And then the ribbon, the ribbon is out of the combo, the ribbon combo pack. Now you get... Uh, Misty Moonlight, I believe, and possibly this is Petal Pink rather than Blushing Bride, but it still still works quite well um, with the look that I was after. So that's that card. And the second card here that we've got for the fellas, I have used Petal Pink as my card base. Now, you know, some of you are probably saying that Petal Pink isn't quite 
you know kosher for a fella but anyway i loved the look that it that um how it looked with the copper embossing fold, uh, powder so um the stamping was done in um black memento and these compass images were were stamped on gray granite and this main image here was uh, stamped on uh, petal pink again these little bits and pieces the extra bits and pieces were or will come from the um he's the man dsp and in that pack of dsp you get two sheets of die cuts that you can push out and use on your projects um i just wanted to mention that these images here come from he's all that stamp set and what i've done is that this is the full image here but i didn't i didn't really want to have all those words i just wanted the compass so um i've stamped the image and then i've punched it out using a one and three eight circle punch if you don't have a circle punch you could uh, possibly find a die that 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 you've got in your in your collection or um, failing that, just grab a pair of snips and fussy cut it. It's, you know, it's only a circle. So it won't be too hard to do that. Okay, uh, I think I have covered everything there. Okay, so today I'm grabbing the Hive 3D embossing folder. I will need Versamark. I will need um, a anti-static tool or your embossing buddy if you have one. I'm going to try silver embossing powder. Now I've tipped mine out of the containers and put it into here because I just find it a lot easier to use. You'll need cardstock. I've grabbed a piece of Bermuda Bay. Um, and I think we're just about ready to go. All we need to do is decide which which side of the which side of the embossing folder we're going to use. And I think I might use the front side. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to powder up my cardstock. And that way I won't get my embossing powder where I don't want it to go. We will grab the Versamark ink pad and very, very gently, you're going to very, very gently apply the Versamark ink to the surface of your embossing folder. Now, I don't want you to push down too hard because then what happens is that the ink will then go into the grooves and um, it won't give you the design that you're after. So very gently and you'll need your, your um, ink pad will need to be quite juicy. So I think I've got that. Cool. Done. And then what I like to do is I like to place my cardstock on the side that I didn't ink up. Okay. Because what happens is that once you place your cardstock down, you have to keep it still. Otherwise, you're going to... Um, smudge smudge the design the end design and very carefully we're going to close that over i'm going to grab my cut and emboss machine now because this is a 3d folder we need to have our base plate and we need to use um, our specialty plate number four and when you're doing this, make sure that you put the closed end 
toward the rollers which are in here. All right, and we're just going to run that through. Now there isn't a real need to rush this as Versamart ink stays wet for quite a while. I'll just put that over there as well. And there we have, you can kind of see that, that there is, that Versamark has transferred onto the, um, from the folder onto the cardstock. And we're going to grab our powder. Whoops. And I'm going to just sprinkle that on. Try not to get it everywhere, which I have. Okay. Okay. Um, if you want to, you can just lightly go over the top so that the powder is um, just only in those indents. There we go. I will close the lid on that. And we will now grab our heat tool. And of course, it's not reaching. There we go. Okay, here we go. And we will watch the magic happen as we apply heat to the powder. There we go. There we have it. Gorgeous. Pure magic. Can't wait to go and make something with that. There you go. Um, one thing I do want to mention, though, and this is what I'm really excited about, is that Stamping Up will be bringing out a new embossing toolkit in our next catalogue. Now that comes with a embossing buddy, a um, oh a oh tweezers, and a brush, and a tray. That will be that's the big thing. A tray, a tray to um to work in, and then it's got a like a little opening on the end that you can just um funnel the um the embossing powder back into your containers. So there you have it, guys. Silver on Bermuda Bay cardstock. Imagine that as a, um, oh gosh, as a, like a 21st birthday card or, or um, you could um, easily cut this into strips and, and create, create a, a background but yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And then the two cards that I made to show you how it all goes together, how it can all go together. 
So I hope you've enjoyed that, everyone. And I hope that I have inspired you to try something different with your heat embossing. Um, have a look at your embossing folders and see see um, see how you go and, and what you might be able to, to create with them. Um, you know, the, some of the floral, the floral embossing folders, um, would, would, um, would, would, you'd get like a spectacular result, I think, with some of those. Personally, I, I'm not a floral embossing folder gal, but, you know, like each to their own. I prefer the more geometric kind of patterns. Um, but in saying that, you know, like you're not, you're not going to know unless you, um, unless you experiment and you know i always say that you've got to you've got to craft to be crafty um you're not going to learn you're not going to learn new things and how things work together and and um if you don't sit down and and have a play and at the end of the day you know there's no mistakes and you often learn you often learn new things by by making a mistake. You think, oh well, that didn't work. Let's try let's try something different. So that's how we go. That's how how we learn new techniques and new and and, and new new tr tricks and tips. So awesome, fabulous. Thank you so much again for joining me. Um, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day. Thank you for joining me. I think I've already said that probably three times. But um, we'll, we'll um, catch you all again next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.